Hola chicos y chicas, soy Eric B. o Espectro Otolaro Takira Boyd y básicamente yo hago videos para documentar mi vida. Hola chicos y chicas, my name is Eric B. o Espectro Otolaro Takira Boyd and basically I make videos to document my life. So, hey guys, it's been a long time since I've talked to you guys, seen you guys, been on YouTube, whatever you want to call it. I am recording from my iPhone. Drops the mic, bomb, okay? Y'all see this like quality here is a lot better than my laptop. I was just looking through some of my old videos and I was like... Step your game up, step your game up, and I'm really happy I stepped my game up just even by a little bit. So, I will go, also want to go ahead and wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Uh, that was a couple days ago, and also, um, I probably won't be making a video for New Year's because I will be working. So, um, have a happy New Year and see you guys in 2017. So, this video is just gonna be a quick haul. Um, I just went to the store and I just, um, Actually, I just posted a little vlog of me, actually, when I was at Family Dollar. It was, like, kind of following me around Family Dollar. Um, I just posted that not too long ago, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the whole haul of where I went. So, the first place I actually went to was Aldi's, but you guys only got to see it at Family Dollar. Um, so, I'm going to just get these things here, because I had it all spread out for y'all. Let me, let me just show y'all my setup here. Let me just show y'all this setup. Excuse my feet if they're in there. My, my stuff was all laid for y'all laid and slayed y'all it was just late but i'm gonna go ahead and get started so the first place i went to was all these i'm just gonna pull all this stuff near me now so i can have everything over this way okay so yeah the first place i went to was all these and guys when i was i don't know if it's a holiday thing but these i usually get from um family doll these are the benton's wafer rolls and these are the vanilla kind when I went a couple, like a day after Christmas, they only had the ones that were chocolate filled inside. But these are the ones that had the French vanilla inside. These are the ones I like. They didn't have any of these around Christmas. So I went there today and it was one hiding in the middle. Y'all was so happy I had the bag. But yes, these are um, $2.99 if you guys don't know. Um, the other thing I got from um, Family Dog, which I actually wasn't going there to get. I just saw it was on sale. Um, this is actually some tea. It's called the Tico Banner Chai. Black tea with exotic spices, and it's, you get 20 tea bags, and this is chai tea. This was um, 89 cents, and this was more about the register. They had this one, they had the peppermint one, and they had something else. I think it, I don't remember what it was. I don't want to say it was, but I know they had this one and a peppermint one. They had another one, but these were 89 cents. My toilet, all these came up to... 397 with tax being um nine cents so yeah next place i went to was the family dollar here's where you guys actually got to see my little um follow around me type of thing um going in here i was really looking for after christmas stuff but they really were um out of stuff i think i even showed in that the vlog that they didn't even really have anything on the shelves like a lot of stuff was gone so um the first thing I got was I went ahead and got these cookies. Um, these cookies are not seasonal cookies. Don't let the stores fool you. These cookies are all year round at the Dollar Tree. The, I be seeing these at Walmart all the time. Like, these are not seasonal cookies. People eat these around the holidays, but they are not seasonal. Um, so I went ahead and got these. These are Danish style butter flavor cookies. You get seven ounces, and they were only a dollar. I don't know how much, and I don't even know if they got the same ones at the Dollar Tree, but Family Dollar and Dollar Tree kind of mix with some of their stuff, so I think I've seen these cookies there, but maybe not in this packaging. I also like this packaging because it's the zip kind, so if I eat a cookie, I can just zip it up, so that was a dollar. The next thing I got, which you guys seen in many of my Family Dollar hauls, are these chocolate bars, and I sleep on these. These are the Cruise Classic Milk Chocolate Bars. They have these in the milk peanut and i think they have these even in caramel with the caramel filling but i always get the milk chocolate and it's 4.6 ounces and it was for a dollar so if you guys are craving chocolate you know a big old chocolate bar for a dollar and it's it's decent it ain't the best of chocolate but it's decent the next thing i got was actually for my travel which i'll be talking about in another video um is this little perfume this is the Body Fantasy Sweet um, Promos Kiss Body Spray, and it's one floor ounce, so it's good for travel. This was um, $4, and they usually have it up there by, um, like, the candies and stuff and all little stuff by the register. Smells really good. I did get Sweet Pea before, but they didn't have it, so I just got this. It smells really nice, so whatnot. The next thing I got were these Twizzlers. The back is kind of open because I kind of, well, I only ate three out of them, but I did kind of get into them. Um, these are the Twizzlers. They're the twist kind. And it's strawberry, low fat. 
um these are 10 ounces and i think these were let me let me not think let me just give you the exact price um these were dollar 75 so by the time you bought like the one dollar one it barely had like six strings in there of these i'm like you might as well just go ahead and spend a little bit and get the extra one so i already ate three you get a hefty amount you know um the last thing i got from family dollar was actually some candy these are the starburst jelly beans they come in like a little bag they're not individually wrapped or anything um there are the original kinds i like these better than sometimes the starburst because you can kind of pop them in your mouth um, I'm trying to get the ounces on here for you. Okay, so they're 14 ounces, and I paid uh, 250 on it. So that's about the amount you pay for candy bags of candy like this. I really don't mind. I just wanted some candy. You know, my stash is getting low, so whatnot. The last place I finally went to was I went to my beauty supply store. Guys, do not sleep in your beauty supply store. You can find a lot of nice stuff there if you know how to go in there and shop. So first thing I needed was guys i actually have no i don't have a belt on but the belt i got from the beauty supply store i've had for years now and i just haven't bought me one so i went in there and i got me a belt it's just a black size normal belt and this is actually a two extra large and it was only 2.99 it's pretty long i've tried the extra large on and it fit perfectly but i was like and i look at the price and i'm like i might as well just go up and get a bigger one that can probably last me a little bit for the same price so yes this was 2.99 it's very long and thick um, and then this is um, their wig. So they have like a basket on the floor where they have like old wigs from their mannequins and stuff that they don't use anymore. And you can just get them if you want. Um, you do have to pay for them. This was, um, let me get the exact price for you guys. Uh, I paid $3 for this wig. This is some really nice hair on here. It's really soft. Like I said, the construction was of a mannequin head. They, it actually came with one of these little nets, which is coming off. I'm trying to preserve the net, so I haven't really ripping it off. But you get one of these type of nets, and then it has a little wig cap in there. It doesn't have any combs. I'm not going to try it on because I'm going to wash it and style it and stuff. But this is like some hair you may want. You know, I kind of shop the wigs and kind of keep them for later. So I know I'm not going to be wearing this wig anytime soon. But I like it because it's really sleek. I never had a sleek wig. Um, it also may come about here or so. I don't really want to put it on. Um, so yeah, it may just like be like kind of like a bob. I think I'm going to cut it into a bob. So yeah, I did get that. Also, let me just go ahead and show you guys the other wig I got a couple weeks ago from the same beauty supply store for the same price. I've actually already took it apart. So these are actually, sorry for my ghetto <laughs> drying here. Uh, but these are actually... This is actually the hair that came from that wig. It was some really curly hair. It was really knotted and nasty. I set it here and I shampooed it, conditioned it, and put it in some little fake bundles, y'all. No, I'm not selling no hair. I'm just for myself. And I'm going to go ahead and go get me a hot glue gun and some glue sticks. And I already got me some wig caps. And I'm going to go ahead and make me a wig. So this is some really cute curly hair. If you guys see any vacation vlogs, because I am going on vacation, but I will not talk about it in this video. Um... This is probably going to be my vacation hair because I really don't want to have to deal with my hair on vacation. Um, so I'll probably just um, wear this as a wig. So yeah, guys, this is how that hair looks up close. It's a little knotted, but it looks a lot better than how I got it. But yeah, guys, I'm going to start running my mouth and I hope you guys enjoy this haul. Adios, chicas y chicas.